Let's go to Jewel Hillary, who is live tonight in Wrigleyville, where Illini fans were watching the game. Jewel. Hi, you all. So tonight's game was a really big deal. That's because, as you've mentioned, the U of I men's basketball team has it matched up in the Elite Eight in almost two decades. Now, of course, fans are disappointed by this big loss, but many of the ones we talked to say that they are still celebrating the team making it this far. So excited, so nervous. No matter what, we love our team. For the first time since 2005. <laughs> The University of Illinois men's basketball team earned a spot in the NCAA's Elite Eight matchup. We haven't seen it in our time at in U of I, so to make it this far, I'm saluting them regardless. The game neck and neck in the first half with number three seed Illinois giving UConn ranked number one a good fight as Illini fans watched with anticipation at Brickhouse Tavern in Wrigleyville. We're glad to be here hoping for a win. Fans hope for a win faded at the end of the first half and into the second when UConn went on a 30-0 run. It's a little sad. In recent years, the Fighting Illini have performed well and ranked high, but fell short during March Madness. Once again on Saturday, the men's basketball team gave UConn a good fight, but couldn't overcome that massive run. UConn is a really good team. They've been on the hot streak since January. They haven't lost like one game, so... It's cool to just see them compete. In spite of the disappointing 77 to 52 loss, U of I fans are staying positive. The fact that we're at Elite Eight, we haven't been there since Darren Williams days, so I'm glad we're here. It's just a tough way to show up. It's always next year. I hate to say that, but <laughs> uh, y'all put on for us for real, because it's been a, it's been a minute since we've been here. Yeah, so some of the fans that we talked to tonight say that they salute the players that are going on to the NBA draft later this year, and they hope that the players that are returning will use this defeat to give them fuel to keep going and come back better and stronger. Reporting live in Wrigleyville tonight, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.